Hey guys, it's Chris. From feats of science to wonders of nature and more, join me as I show you nine amazing things you'll see for the very first time. Number nine, Halley's Comet. The universe is full of many wonders, each of which could be considered a first time event in a certain context. But let's focus on one that honestly comes around only once in a lifetime. Halley's Comet. Why do I say around once in a lifetime? Well, that's because Halley's Comet is known as a short period comet, as it circles the confines of space and then arrives back at Earth every 75 to 76 years. So if you're lucky, you could see it twice in a lifetime. If you're curious about when it'll show up at Earth next time, you do have a bit of a wait. The last time it appeared around Earth was 1986, which means that it's estimated to return to Earth around 2061. The fascinating bit about this, though, is that Halley's Comet has been documented in historical texts from as far back as 240 BC. And multiple nations, including the Chinese, Babylonians, and even medieval Europeans, took note of the comet from where they were. But it was only in 1705, when English astronomer Edmund Halley noted its periodic nature, that the comet was truly noted by science, and thus why it's called Halley's Comet. So if you're lucky enough to be around in 2061, we can all hope, keep an eye out for the comet in the summer. It'll be something you can truly enjoy. Number eight, freezing soap bubbles. Depending on who you are, winter is either one of the most wonderful times of the year or a time that you don't really like to go outside for a few days because of the cold temperatures, the freezing ice, and the occasional blizzard that can cause some serious damage. But if you're able to go and brave the cold, there's one really cool experiment you can try out for very little cost that will very likely blow your mind. All you need is one of those blow your bubble kits that you usually get during the summer. Except now, you're gonna do it during the winter. You might think, won't they just pop because of the cold? Well, actually, no, they won't. Instead, you'll blow the bubbles and they will form. But once they mix with the cold air, they're gonna start to freeze. And when they do, they'll become heavier and heavier and slowly fall to the ground in one piece. Just as fascinating, the bubbles won't pop like you'd expect them to. Instead, they actually rip apart or dissolve depending on the temperature and the surface they're on. And just like the snow, you can manipulate these bubbles in different ways to get different effects, like not even blowing the bubbles and watching the bubble solution freeze in your hand, creating a kind of pseudo glass. Number seven, living rock. If there's one thing that the world has undeniably taught us, it's that life can be anything and everything it wants to be, including being something so innocuous that you can't even tell it's alive. A perfect example of this is the living rock, aka the Pyura chilensis. This creature is so rare that it can only be found in the coastal area of Peru and Chile. And one of the biggest reasons you've likely never heard of these creatures isn't just the location of which they're located, it's that they're not creatures that move around. The living rock is alive, but immobile. It's what we call a filter feeder, and it belongs to the sea squirts category of life, which is actually why some people go and hunt for them, because some restaurants love dining on them. Oh, and because they look like an actual rock unless you turn them over, they can be easily stepped on. And it's said that when this happens, they explode and make it look like you hurt yourself when in fact, you actually hurt it. So the lesson here is that when you go to the Peru or Chile coast, be careful where you step. Number six, Milky Sea Phenomenon. Bioluminescence is a process of the body of certain animals and plants that allows them to glow certain colors. And there are some areas of the world that have plants or algae that illuminate certain areas of water. However, well outside of these areas, sailors from many periods of time have noted that the oceans or seas that they've traveled on have glowed for unknown reasons, never in the same spot. Or even stranger, they'd glow in the day or the night, which is a direct contrast to various areas that have bioluminescent plants or algae. Adding to the mystery in 2006, a satellite image of one of these milky seas was captured, and scientists determined that it wasn't plants or algae doing this, but actually a massive group of bacteria. But therein lies the question, why would such bacteria come together in such mass and propagate in various parts of the ocean for days at a time? Some scientists think it's because they're trying to attract food or even fish, but that's not been proven. Nor does this answer explain why the phenomenon happens at all, or why it happens in only certain parts of the ocean or seas or various other bodies of water, and not others that seem just as likely to have it happen. Number five, ice from a hose. 
There are some things in life that you don't expect, including when a very basic instrument like a hose starts spewing out something that is not pure water. Yet that's exactly what happened to one farmer who was in for quite a shock. The farmer named Dan Aram was left startled after ice started coming out of his water hose when he tried watering his fields early in the morning in northern India. The region had been hit by a hard winter, and the water froze overnight due to the relatively low temperatures. Dan Aram said, I came in the morning to water my field, but the water didn't come out. I initially thought that the motor had gone defective, but after some moments, ice started popping out of it. My son burst into laughter. I shut down my motor immediately so it wouldn't get damaged. While his motor was fine, he would go on to take footage of the incident and post it on social media. Believe it or not, this has happened to many people over the years, and the footage of it is still rather unbelievable, mainly because these are nearly perfectly formed ice chunks flying out of the hose because of the hose itself. While this is a unique sight, we do not recommend trying this at home with your own hose. Number 4. Gap Between the Tectonic Plates Tectonic plates not only hold the things that form our planet together, they also allow us to live above water. That's because these plates are what the continents of our world are on, and thus there are seven massive plates underneath the surface within the lithosphere, and the study of them have been a major focus point for scientists over the years, especially when they realized that they were moving away from one another in a very natural yet unfortunate kind of way. This event is known as a divergent boundary. Specifically, the North American and Eurasian plates are moving farther and farther apart from each other every year. To be clear, it's only moving apart by about an inch a year, but still, they're moving. If you go dive underwater to where the plates are, you can actually see the gap between them. Should you want to do this, you'll need to go to Iceland where the gap can be found, and you'll be amazed by what you see. The water is apparently crystal clear, and the sight of the walls of the plates and their verticality can be quite mind-blowing according to accounts. But while it may be beautiful, if the plates grow too far apart, it could cause a lot of problems for people on the surface. Number 3. Zero Gravity Pit Stop In racing, the pit stop is one of the most important factors of the race itself, as it allows cars to get new tires, more fuel, or to help the driver in whatever way they need. In the F1 series, the Aston Martin Red Bull pit crew is legendary for their famously fast pit stops, including being able to do them in less than one and a half seconds, and setting world records when they did it three times. So what was the next feat for this legendary team? Taking their skills to space in order to complete the first ever zero gravity pit stop. Drawing on the help of the Russian space agency Roscosmos, the team took the 2005 RB1 car to the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City and set about proving that the sky really is the only limit. The team had to train for a week in order to get used to the feeling of being in zero G. Even the team noted that getting used to some of the features was hard. Even the filming of the very special video was hard because of the need to have everything bolted down. But they did it and completed a world first that likely won't be topped anytime soon. Number 2. Cormorant Fishing there are many different ways to fish, and some are indeed more unique than others. But one of the most symbiotic in certain ways is the cormorant fishing. In short, fishermen work together with the bird known as the cormorant, who is able to swallow fish in their mouths. The fishermen tie a leash around the bird and send it into the water. The bird catches a fish in its mouth and brings it back to the fisherman. The leash is meant to prevent big fish from being swallowed and thus given to the men. Weirdly, after a period of working together, the cormorant will only swallow small fish on their own and willingly give the big fish to their masters. While unique, many wonder if the birds are being mistreated by this relationship. Whether they are or not, you can't deny this is a very unique way of fishing, and it's been used by many nations including China, Japan, Greece, England, and France. Number 1. The Edge of Rain and Hail There are many times when weather is so focused over a localized area that it causes a lot of confusion in that it could be pouring down rain in one area of town, but if you walk a few blocks in any direction, you'll soon find yourself in sunny weather. Places like Hawaii, San Francisco, and more have these kinds of odd weather conditions. But the thing that gets most people's attention is when rain or even hail is so localized in an area that they have an edge where you can see everything stop, meaning that there's a line that divides what part is getting the rain or hail and what isn't. And finding these edges is truly hard, because it's not as simple as just finding the end of the storm. The conditions have to be so perfect that there is a fixed part where things are stormy, and a fixed part where things are clear. In scientific terms, this is known as a precipitation shaft, 
and seeing the edge may have you thinking this is an optical illusion, but there is plenty of footage showing that edge is very real. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these? Were you amazed by the sight of them and what they really are? Do you know of any other wonderful sight that we could have put on the list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.